still really jammed, but I might even start to now open up and do a little bit of work on this spot, you know? After I've done initial, I might get, if I got 10 or 20% out, now I can get the 10 or 20% out here without it being overwhelming. And how I work this spot is I come from this angle. So the thumb, the, the finger, and I'm right in here. Not here, because there's nothing there, but I'm opening that up. See how I'm stretching the hand and opening it up? And then applying that pressure right in there. And then I can hold that, and again, watch him. I know I'm... No, I just want to see where you're pressing. Okay. Yeah, cool. Right? And then I can move the thumb. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, and then I'm responding, okay, because I'm, I'm working him near his limit, but I know I don't want him to tighten up against me, all right? But I'm sort of fine-tuning now between a 9 and... And, and trying to work them at 9.5s and 9.6s and 7s, but easy to maybe go a little bit too much. So a bit of toing and froing until I can get that right amount there. And again, coming in here, opening it up, but then, see that slightest movement of the thumb? That, that pushes him close to his 10 there. But then I can do this. Stretch the thumb, open up. But, and he, each breath that he takes, of letting go, I'm able to get in a little bit more. And then give him a rest from that. And then just start to just move that thumb. And again, try and respond when he's, you know. And we know how tight he is through here, okay? So I'm thinking, okay, let's open that up a little bit. But really gently work in here. Again, if that, I'm more expecting to get 10 or 20% of this tension out because I got a bit out of the thumb. And then I'm finding he's very tight just in here. So then I, I put the thumb in that position, apply my pressure in there, and then just slightly move it. And then if I feel him tightening up against me, I just ease it off 5%, 8% until he can breathe into that. And then I might just hold it, move it, let him breathe. Make sure I'm breathing. And then, once he's had a few breaths, again, gently and slowly, so that he doesn't feel like I'm gonna do anything fast and radical, or he has to tighten up against me. It's gonna be slow and steady, where he can just breathe into that and let that go. And then again, coming in here, so keeping a bit of variety, I'm actually working on several bands at once. I'm just giving, you know, that variety is a spice of life, but coming in and sorry, working just different um, areas just gives the person a little break. Because when you, when you hover on, I call it hovering, when you get stuck on a point and it's not letting go, it just gets annoying mm -hmm. for the person, right? Fucking annoying, yeah. So don't hover. If something's going to let go, it's going to let go, you know? If it's not letting go, it's held somewhere else. So don't waste your time. I'm back here at this point. Okay? And I'm going a bit deeper. Another 5 or 10% deeper. But he's more, you know, I can still feel like his whole, you can see his hand is shaking a little bit. But I'm watching his breath. And then going a little bit more. He's still able to handle that. I think that should be our, now I'm just going to let, just stay there and let him breathe it. But change the angle ever so slightly from time to time. And then move it. See the millimeter or so that I'm moving now? Just to break up that congestion, but I'm still holding it. I can feel it intensely pulsing. I don't know if pulsing is the right word, but now I'm changing that angle again. Then I'm easing it off slightly because I can feel I'm hitting a threshold. So I'm going to ease it off. And then ease it off about 10%, but then I create a bigger movement. And I'm, I'm moving that whole thumb. But you can see it's really near his threshold because he, he was about to tighten up. So that's why I had to ease off a bit to do that movement. Now I give him a little rest because you can see he wants to pull his hand, right? Now I could even just see what's going on with his other, I might even do his other next finger. I've only got maybe five or 10% out of that thumb. 
But you can see how he, he almost wanted to pull that thumb away. Mm. It felt, actually felt like the thumb was starting to lock up. Yeah. Like, uh, I wouldn't say spasming, but felt, yeah. felt a bit weird. Felt a bit weird. So it's like, okay, let's do this finger. Because remember how I, I said this finger is really tight. This finger and this thumb, remember, they're, they're, they're the gripping thing. So they have a strong relationship to each other. So me reducing the tension in this finger may allow the thumb to let go. Okay, so that's why I'm saying um, adjust to the circumstances, you know? Would you treat that, that, that new finger as the first one as well? Or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Exploratory. I'm, I'm getting to feel. Taking away any tension I can. Holding my awareness. Projecting energy into that chopstick and then slightly moving. And you can see the change between that slight movement is pushing you. So then I go, okay, I'll give him a little rest from that. Come back. Again, just projecting that energy into there. Letting him breathe. Changing the angle. Seeing what's still charged and then moving it slightly. Now, coming along. Holding. And again, so much energy that's coming into my arm. And come back to that spot. But again, not being sensitive to where his tent is, yeah? And then, slight movement. Letting him breathe. Sometimes just let people have a breath or two, you know? If you're stirring up so much, they need to process it. Don't keep stirring up more. Now coming in a couple millimeters along. You can see how charged that is. Ease off slightly, because he's slightly tightening up. So easing off, the toing and the throwing, right? Adjusting. And then coming down. And just moving it slightly side to side. So tight in here. You can actually feel it physically as a tight band in by the time you come here. And as I say, coming down the band, you can start to do bigger movements because if I've released here 10%, I'll get 10% out of there. Okay, it'll be nice and easy. It'll be like butter. So I don't need to waste a lot of time down there. I'm not forcing it, you know what I mean? Like, is that? Now I'm coming on the other side. Oh. Again, I'm letting him just catch his breath. And, you know, he's feeling it. You know? How you going, Jim? Yeah, good. Good. Now I'm gonna move that joint side to side. I'm gonna move this one. Again, just giving him a little rest from the intensity of the chopstick, you know? It's like waves in the ocean. You want the peaks in the troughs, you know? Don't keep people at intensity. But then, I'll come back. And here what I'm doing with this finger is I'm supporting it so that I'm not just pushing it, the whole thing away. I'm supporting it. And, and the curve, where the finger or toe, this is a really intense spot here where it can hold a lot of charge for people. So I'm just holding there, letting him breathe into it, and then going a bit deeper and moving it side to side. And the first run, I'll come back to that. I can feel how tight he is through here. But I don't wanna overwhelm him. Okay, so and again, 
Whatever I've done through there, I can easily come in and just do that. Now I want to come into here, picking up energy in my hand so I get rid of it. This is this area can be one of the most painful spots in a person, right? So you must come in with sensitivity. Projecting awareness, letting him breathe into it, and a very slight movement there, very slight shaking. Then a little bit below. And then right into the joint itself and then bigger movements. And I, I don't have to spend as long through here, okay? Because whatever I've got out of there, I can get out. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Huge, right? Mm. Now look at the movement that we're getting side yeah. to side in this finger, yeah? And still, you know, this one's a bit jammed. I, I'm aware that I haven't done back here. Mm. So I'm thinking, mm, there's still some stuff held back here. But I'm gonna let him catch his breath. And come back into here. see that shaking happening. I'm just letting that process and shake down. And then I'm coming into this spot. This is a very interesting spot as well in the middle of the pad, I find. Again, creating some movement. Now coming back to the thumb and just seeing how the thumb is going, how's this opening going, letting him breathe a bit, stretching him. And now even thinking about getting another tool. Could you pass me like a tool? Sorry, that's actually. 